scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive Receiving more updates from of God us. With because gratitude you know that whatever allowing here, it, is going to allowing it to change us. It's going to make you those who argue with the word of God are those who fail in Thank life. Thank you. Praise the word. The Bible says, "Forever, O Lord, Thy word is settled." It never said in your life. It is settled in heaven. That's why heaven is the way it is. When you now allow his will to be done in your life, the same way it is in the heavens, then the word will be settled in your life. When the word of God is settled in your life, your life will change like day and night. I keep telling us week after week that we are on a project. God is taking us somewhere. Hallelujah. Many years from now, you will turn back and you will thank me. You will say thank you for having this. Those who think we are wasting our time trusting God are in for a shock. Because the Bible says darkness shall cover the earth. It's a prophecy, it's not a discussion. And gross darkness, the people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, tonight's teaching is a response. First an instruction from God, but then a response to... Um, quite a number of things that um, or a number of issues that I've seen with people families, individuals you know God has given me the privilege of talking and counseling people an average day is a very busy day for me because you have different things to respond to ranging from financial issues, marital issues, destiny issues, career issues, health issues, demonic oppression. And um, it gives me a privilege as I talk to people every time because it's an opportunity to learn and see firsthand the practicality of God's word. I have families to comfort them over bereavement and at the same time you are celebrating the birth of someone new. Are we together now? You are watching how disobedience is punishing another and you are celebrating the joy of obedience. So you are in between um, experiencing the revelation and the reality of the word of God and seeing the grave consequences that comes when we define our own idea about life. I choose to submit to the ways of God in the name of Jesus Christ. So I've had a lot of issues and... Um, the Lord just gave me a release to really, really discuss it tonight. Please, I want everybody, open your eyes, your spirit. Everyone will be blessed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. There are two issues I want to start with. Really, I, I, I just um, felt like starting out, um, you can call it the part A, on a little note, since um, Valentine is on... Monday or Tuesday Tuesday I just thought to start from that angle and then just to contribute something not necessarily out of pressure but I think that is useful I'm a visionary leader by the grace of God and it's important to respond to people according to seasons he said I will give you pastors after my own heart and they shall feed you with wisdom and understanding hallelujah there, there is, I have seen two evils 
that I believe, if not corrected, will destroy a lot of people. Just as an introduction, that's not necessarily where I'm dwelling, but just to connect with it. There, there is a growing fear that I've seen, especially among ladies, not necessarily koinonia ladies. Um, as I talk with ladies, as I talk with women, I am a bit concerned at the growing fear. As it regards family life, most especially the fear of disappointment, the fear of expectations not coming to pass. And then on the other side of the pendulum, I have seen a growing sense of frustration among men, especially young men. Are we together now? So there is on one side fear, the fear that many ladies may never enter into their desired destinies. Fears ranging from the, the projections of late marriage, fear ranging from not finding a man that represents God, God's ideal standard. So there's, there's a lot of fear. It's like the average lady is afraid. Even those who are married are afraid. So it's a very interesting situation. Then on the other hand, you have men who are frustrated. I have seen brothers, some in Koinonia and some around that I've been able to see. You know, there's something frustrating when you've done your best and it still doesn't work. You know that state. There are people who are standing and saying, look, I don't know what the key is, but I have to find this thing. It's not working. So I see a lot of frustrated people. People call me. Apostle, do you know my wife just gave birth? And let me confess, things are bad, bad. Nigeria is bad. My life is bad. My boss is bad. And I just cried before God and I thought that it was very important to respond to this. There are so many people who are afraid of getting into relationships, afraid of getting married. So much. And so God will help us in the name of Jesus. Ladies, I want to talk to you first. Pay very close attention. I really want to talk to you from the depth of my heart. If anyone is distracting you this night, just know that that person is really an enemy of your destiny. There is a reality we have to come to terms with. Look at me, please. And I'm very serious. I know there will be a lot of laughing, but just laugh and let your spirit be here. Praise God. The 21st century living, please pay attention, living in the 21st century alone is a challenge all by itself. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Just being alive. I know that we have taught and people have said it that we are the most fortunate generation. I believe that. But at the same time, there has been no time in human history, I tell you, where living has come with circles of challenges like our generation. Just being alive alone is a challenge by default. Are we together now? This is very, very important. And that means there must be an updated redefinition of concepts. Listen to me. Ideas, redefinition of paradigms and strategies as regards living as regards family life, not necessarily a veering off of God's standard, but a redefinition of our approach. Are you getting what I'm saying now? What you call a man in the 21st century is very different from what was understood by a man in 1960s and 70s. Is that correct? Yeah. So, if we do not adjust to these redefinitions of concepts and ideas to be able to stand the times that are coming, there will be big disasters in Christian homes, although born again, although tongue-talking, and many lives. We are going to raise all kinds of children who will be hooligans and a nuisance to society. I have observed personally, now, and if there are, we, we have a number of children here, some very small, some maybe in their teenage. But I have observed with shock most young people from within the ages of, let's say, 19 
down to 13 that generation has been violently captured by the devil that 19 to 13 i don't know what happened to that generation of young people but there is a disaster they are they are outspoken rebellion against the things of god is beginning to reproduce the pattern of the american church are we together yeah you study children most of them are just finishing from secondary school and maybe universities and all of that they are outspoken rebellion against the life of god the ways of god they are really the technological generation that that teenage and if there is no redefinition of concepts and ideas there will be a very serious challenge the average christian parent does not even know how the concept of parenting because it has changed back in the olden days the parents were the principal instructors of a child but right now the average child has many teachers are we together the school teachers are just one the parents are even the least there are many other things there's facebook to teach there's youtube to teach are we together gone are the days where you can you can off a television and say sit down and read your book you off a television he switches it on on his device think about that the advancement in technology is a double-edged sword it's made certain destinies and created potentials for the destruction of others so i i really would want to talk to us um ladies let me start with you there are certain things sisters i love you and i'm speaking to you from the depth of my heart if you listen to me you will be saved if you are stubborn and you don't listen i guarantee you you would have defined a path that will lead to tears are we together now say amen sisters here yeah, doesn't mean people who maybe ladies who are not yet married it, just anybody really there are certain things a lady must find in a man otherwise don't marry him write it down i've upgraded my curriculum on this you will you will be interested to hear the things i'm going to tell you now a thorough upgrade just four things i've summarized every cry of every sister to four things whether you know it or not just believe me any brother that does not come along these lines is dangerous sisters what did i say he is shout it i didn't say he's bad i said he's dangerous i don't care whether the brother is joshua selman i don't care whether the brother has a bible on top of his head if these four things are not in place your home will be a disaster and your children will be a disaster ready number one you have no business talking about relationship and marriage with any man who is not god fearing don't be too fast allow me to properly define what i mean by god fearing notice i didn't say born again because that thing has been abused in the 21st century a born again brother is not one who came out for altar call and you witnessed him raising his hand that's not born again god fearing the primary reason why society is in decadence listen to me is because the men are not god fearing the fear of the lord is not believing in god there are two different things faith in god and the fear of god are two different things i can have faith in god and not fear god are we together now yeah there are many faith-filled christians who are not god fearing and listen look at this i am a christian i am a child of god my life is governed by a reference listen the bible is my reference are we together now my decisions are made with respect to this reference so when you tell me you are a husband what reference are you leading your life and your family with so many people come to church but there is no reference upon which their lives their ideologies and their decisions come from 
So they just hilariously come up with concepts and ideas about parenting and they have destroyed the lives of innocent women. There are many women in the last two weeks, the number of married women have had to counsel and the pain that the average married woman, woman goes through in their home is unbearable. They laugh in the open but they are dying in the secret. And the sad thing is that most of the men are born again. Some are even bishops, priests, sincere people, deacons. What does it mean to be God-fearing? To be God-fearing, number one, means to have reverence, respect for God. Not just to believe in God, but to have reverence for God. Let's hurry up. Number two, to be God-fearing means to submit to the ways of God. Submit to the word of God as the final authority in all matters. Write this one down. To submit to the word of God as the final authority in all matters. Not some matters. You, so you don't mix the word of God and culture. In our place, this is how we do it. No. In our village, this is how it is done. This, this diversity of concepts has largely destroyed many good men. Turned them into beasts and animals because there is no centralized scripture-based reference upon which their activities are carried out. Listen, let me tell you something. There is no man that is bad. When they tell you a man is bad, when a woman looks at her husband, when a young lady looks at someone she's in a relationship with and says you are bad, there is, the concept of bad does not exist. There is no man who is bad. Every man is like a video playing out his mindset. It is the thinking, the ideology of a man that expresses him as bad. That is why an umbrella can carry the same body and in two years, the armed robber has become a pastor. The body did not change. Something changed. The same hand that once held a gun and was brutal over people now holds a Bible and is saving sinners. There is nothing called a bad man. I've interacted with some people who are supposedly bad, some of them old enough to be my parents, and I've discovered that intrinsically, every man is good. Their approach was wrong. And so their life became a script playing out. Some of you are looking at me now, brothers, as sincere as you are, you are about to replay the same script if you don't change. You will be shocked to see how you will find out that what you desire, let me tell you, there is no bad man who married his wife to destroy her. Are you hearing me? Nobody, I'm a man, I've been a man all my life. I'm not just being a man now. So you have to listen to me. I know exactly Men are not bad people. But there are concepts that have turned men into beasts. Are we together? A God-fearing person. The word of God. I always give this analogy when I'm counseling people. Listen. If, wife, come. If, watch this. This is my wife. And I want the television to be here. Everybody look up. This is a television now. I want the TV to be here. And my wife says, my husband, this TV has to be there. There is a conflict of ideas. Now, to be God-fearing means both of us must have the unashamedness, or at least I, to say, what does the word of God say about TV? Is the word of God says there should be no TV. What happens to my will? I fold my will. To let the will of God prevail. There is no family that will suffer. When the man can accept the will of God. The problem is usually the will of the man. And I look at her and say. What part of your dowry didn't I pay? You talk to me I will slap you. Forget that I'm a man of God. I'm a man. It's just that I'm of God. You talk to me I will slap you. Are we together? 
and you know men we are very arrogant people we can be entering hellfire and claim that is ac we are and drag people in trouble until we get in there and then we say well I, I did not exactly understand the configuration of a man is such that we have a lot to protect that's why submitting to the ways of god is very hard that's why in most crusades women are more the men don't come they would rather watch from the television and kneel down and receive the same miracle but to come and be healed they feel is an insult i am a director of a and b and c but tonight i pray that god will raise men who can submit i love the song the worship team sang look there is nothing as excellent as a man especially a young man who has submitted to the will of God in every matter it doesn't matter how it stings my ego once the word of God contradicts my concept I bend I don't look for an explanation no sir it is being God fearing that will make you never to carry your hand and beat your wife you are angry but what did the Bible say about wives it said treat them as unto weaker vessels so when you slap your wife and you are boiling, you are not just a stupid man, you are not submitting to the ways of God. When you love your wife just because she made a nice hair, and say, hey, hey, now you are talking, you are, you are carnal, number one. That is not even true love. Because the Bible says husbands love their wives as Christ loved the church. So the thing is to study how Christ loved the church. He said, while we were yet sinners, undeserving, unqualified, in due season, Christ loved us so when a man has to punish his wife to end his love by dressing well i'm not against good dressing i'm not against looking well i'm not against all of these things but if you force your your wife to have to succumb to those things the day she sees another woman who has those things much more than her she becomes insecure because she knows how unpredictable your love is the fear of the lord many men do not fear God principles of parenting do you know that there are families and there are cultures for instance that teach that a man can beat his wife at least once or twice so that when he beats her she will know that this is not a stupid it's not a sissy I mean it's, it's a show of masculinity I senior you in age in strength in whatever it is in salary and you joke with me I beat you once then I ask you for forgiveness I'm forgiving you you are forgiving me but the memory of what happened will keep you in place that has worked for a lot of people but I hate it not I don't care whether it works or not it's not consistent with the Word of God the Word of God is not about what works or not it's about what God says if I apply the word of God and it does not work, I will still remain there. Not because of the result it produces, but because that's what came out of the mouth of God. That's what it means to be an ardent follower of the word. Sisters, are you listening? Unfortunately, now, we, we live in a generation where, and please don't, don't find this insulting, many of our sisters, some of you are here looking at me now, you are so gullible. Just anybody just comes wherever. He has small money, small whatever. You are praying in tongues, yet you are not allowing what you are praying to inform the decisions. I am shocked when some ladies bring some brothers to me and say, I like him. I want to say, where did you keep your brain? I taught you so many things. Look at the kind of person you are dragging. Completely antichrist in his approach. Why do you love him? He loves me. Is he a Christian? I, uh, he's a nice, he comes around. Listen, let me tell you something. Another wife. Uh, well, just for this example, you are not permitted to marry another wife. Listen, watch this everyone. Do you know the only thing you cannot change in your life is God and your wife and children. You are supposed to change your cloth after some time. You are permitted. As lovely as this cloth I'm wearing is, after a few months it will fade and I'll throw it away and sew another one. So, it's amazing how you can love something now and hate it. But the Bible says you are staying with that woman. So, there's no, you can't change her like a cloth. Meaning you must find out from God what he must put in you and her to make her remain fresh. If you change clothes, change phone, 
change car and yet the bible says you cannot change your wife you must find out lord and the woman is growing old so it means you must do something to me that is beyond the physical to keep me faithful i told you tonight my heart is is indicting a good matter we are just warming the plane we must reach that altitude this night in the name of jesus christ yes. god fearing sisters I want you to bond this revelation. The first thing to look at in a man is not the car he brought. Hello? Say hi. Hello? Because some of you, if we don't press you like this, you know, I've discovered in church that many people don't listen. As you are talking like this, they are looking at you. They are even writing. But their hearts are already made up. No, sir. I'm saving you trouble. You will thank me for it. Not everything that glitters is gold. And don't let anyone pressure you, whether parents or friends, and say, after all, what is there? He can take care of us. What is your idea of care? Buy you things? Are we together? A God-fearing man. A man, he doesn't have to be a pastor. Uh-uh. God-fearing has nothing to do with a pastor. God-fearing has nothing to do with praying eight hours. A man can pray eight hours and not be God-fearing. I told you there is a difference between believing God and having a reverence for God. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Hmm. The fear of God. Submitting to the authority of the word. Submitting to the authority of the word. So you may be Igbo. You may be Hausa, you may be Yoruba, you may be Kaduna State, whatever, Northern and you may be from another nation of the world. It does not matter. The issue of this is how we do it in our place. This is how it is in our place. Our fathers used to, our this used to happen. No, no, no. People do those kinds of nonsense things. Do you know how this refusal to conform to the word of God has brought trouble between people? It's the reason why many marriages are not working parenting so the man has his idea on how to raise children he got it from his friends he got it from bad people are we together now do you know the average young child was not really trained by his parents he just lived with them it's one thing to live with me but it's another thing to be mentored and trained by me that you are going around in my house does not mean i'm training you the bible said train up a child it didn't say live with him Many people are living with their children, but they are not training their children. So their children get the training from their friends. Bad books, bad magazines, rubbish films, nonsense photos and pictures. And by the time that child is 10 or 11 years, somebody else is training him. How does a train move? They are connected. The train will not move against where the head of the train is moving. So train a child means set the pace. Don't tell them to do it. Lead them in doing it. You don't ask a child to buy you cigarette and then as he drops he says, if I catch you with cigarette, I will kill you by myself. I've told you. Smoking is very bad. Forget that I'm doing it. You are not training the child. Is God speaking to us? What I'm saying is a very serious thing. God fearing. Number two, ladies, the second thing that you must, in this order, in this order, it has to be in this order. The second thing is that that man must submit to an earthly authority. I'm giving you redefined 21st century world compliant. He must be able to submit to an earthly authority for mentorship for building for correction there are many families in trouble today because there is no authority figure over the life of the husband there's no man that can call him and say no no what you are doing is wrong he can beat the wife and almost kill her he's the god of himself never marry a man who does not have a pastor a mentor a spiritual authority an elderly person there must be a personality that he has covenanted to listen to the person say amen, amen. very powerful revelation i give you there are many ladies who say ah you're in a relationship i think you should see a apostle say, i see a apostle for what 
what what should i see him for that's how after he slaps you and you say let's go and see apostle you say for what listen no matter how wrong a man and a woman is if there is someone for them to listen you are still safe you are still safe i've had the privilege of talking with a lot of couples i remember one couple they fought in kaduna it was a brutal fight police had to come police for husband and wife and to, and, and they are christians the woman just took she could not take it that day and she decided that look i will try my best whatever i would i will have to attempt this man today true story and two of them after the door settled the police people told them look you are married people don't make a fool out of yourself go and you can you know know how to fix things up two of them agreed that they were going to report themselves to me so they reported themselves and then they came for counseling do you know at the end of that counseling simply because they were people who understood submission at the end of it the man was hugging his wife as if he never slapped her nice people and as far as i know things are working it was a very minor issue and all of that sisters please hear me in the name of jesus the 21st century has changed things some of us this is the dilemma that our fathers came in they had been beating our mothers for many years there are some of us if there was an authority figure the divorce would not have happened there was no one the man decides he's the god of the family the day he decides to descend upon the family with wrath everybody's in trouble sisters the man must be able to show you clearly what authority figure is in his life do you know why let me tell you this emeka come sweetheart come assuming stand here assuming this lady emeka comes to ask this lady out and says he wants to marry her do you know if she tells him and says okay whatever it is this is an authority figure in my life and i would like you to see him do you know why the man will run away because he doesn't plan to be faithful and he doesn't want anything that will tie him too much he wants an opportunity to still be doing runs at the side hello are we together so he's hoping that by alienating himself there are many brothers who claim to love you people they come and drop you for koinonia and go away and after the grace they now come and pick you that's dangerous naomi told ruth he said um, um ruth told naomi he says my god will be your god your people will be my people are we together because if i know this guy with this lady tomorrow if i see her smiling at somebody i have the right to ask a question and say ah i hope that guy is your brother <laughs> that smile is too generous for just an ordinary this thing so what is the issue and if there is an issue i will at least try to find out it's all right if the issues are irreconcilable but at least that there is some level there is disorder in the body of christ because everybody is doing anything that's why you can find one brother with 20 girlfriends scattered all around and they never know themselves yet the brother can be leading worship yet the brother can be a pastor in charge of a and b and c you will tell this one now man just be waiting you will just let me just put things in place while he's doing that he's already printing um, traditional wedding card how many ladies have been heartbroken a brother that has told them he has even met their parents while they are happy the next thing they just see a wedding card this is to notify you that the family of a and b is marrying c and d in in different places very careless and we make the church look stupid let me tell you there's order in the body of christ many people will hear what i'm saying and think no disorderliness will always empower satan disorderliness of any sort will always empower satan the bible says let all things be done decently and in order bless you bless you number three very quickly are you getting blessed so sisters the first thing you should look at in a man and if you are married and your husband doesn't have this begin to labor in the place of prayer labor generously in the place of prayer lord turn the heart of this man he must be god fearing i've married the deed has been done but lord you can still step in you are the god of the second chance step in i will never allow my daughter to marry anybody that is not god fearing bring a jeep 
bring a plane carry hamper for me that, that all that one is your cup of tea if you are not god fearing the first question i'll ask you is not what you studied or where you have a job are you right with god and you know that you'll not just tell me yes i said that's all right let's go to the next question no 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 no. we'll stay there and press it right with god means what yeah right with god means what you don't just say i'm right with god are, are you a member of what i'm a member of living faith okay that's all right no no i can in five minutes through your words i can know you are just a church goer you don't fear god Let's restore the fear of God so that our children will be raised. You send children to school. You have finished training your children in the fear of God. They now go and meet a very indisciplined child who came from a family that does not fear God and start making your child who fears God feel like an inferior person. Is that not what happened to some of us growing? You left good Christian families. The day they were talking about pornographic movies, you've never known anything like that. And you say, I don't know anything. They say, are you joking? You are 14 years. You've never watched this. And they make you feel guilty for loving God. And it's that guilt that drives you to say, no, I have to educate my mind. And look at what has happened to your life now. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, through the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Be determined to correct the mistakes of your parents with your life. You have insulted your father. You have insulted your mother. It's now your chance. Oh, apostle, I want to marry this year. Congratulations. But you listen carefully. Do you know some people, if not for this teaching, you are about to make a blunder this Valentine. Because they always come around this time. Wolves in sheep's clothing. They stroll around and they come and look for good church ladies. Well-cultured Christian girls who they can play with their mind because of the innocence of the word. There are many ladies, if it's not a church girl, her eye has opened. When the guy does nonsense, she will jack him and say, we'll die here. I'm not a stupid person. I will show you that although I'm a lady. But a nice, well-cultured church girl has been trained to respect men. Has been trained to behave well. Many bad boys like church girls because they avoid trouble. They, they, the pastor has done the work. So I can easily manipulate them into nonsense. And the guy will use the scripture and say, don't shout at me. Remember what apostle said. He said, it's true. Apostle said we should be nice. They always look for these periods and come and destroy the life of ladies. It pains me when I see very nice ladies and their entire life has been crushed and crumbled by very bad boys because they are sincere. They are innocent. And you know why? We pastors don't teach it because we think it's not necessary. So we allow people to make all their mistakes and destroy their lives and destinies. I get text messages literally every day one trouble after another in a family please ladies listen to me very carefully god fearing submission to an earthly authority i have seen how beautiful many homes have become not necessarily because the men are so godly but the power of submission the Lord has revealed things to me about certain families and I've called the husbands to say, husband, would you want to adjust A and B and C? I think you are doing this to your wife. I think you are doing this to your children. Oh, apostle, I didn't know it was this way. All right. Direction. Number three. Sister, you are praying or considering a man to marry or you are married. That man must have passion for you, not love. Passion. Passion passion is an adjective that qualifies the extent of love I love you is not a language that is useful again in this generation because it has been abused are you, are you get what I'm saying one tout can be somewhere holding his symbol and as you are passing he says is that I love you so people don't even know what I love you means again I love you means something carnal and fleshly passion please look at me let me tell you any man who does not have passion for you will be unfaithful write it down 
write it down and put my name under. Don't, don't post anything and put my name, but write it down for your consumption. Any man with no passion for his wife, I give you an ironclad guarantee he will be unfaithful. It's not if, it's when. Do you know, let me tell you a shocking truth. Do you know that over 75 to 80 percent of men, even in Christian families, married men, within the first five years of their marriage, have been unfaithful to their wives? Statistically confirmed. I told you it's not because they are bad. Passion. It is passion. Passion is more than physical stature and, and what and all of these things. Are we together now? Yeah. So that's why I hate arranging marriage. I'm saying it again. You know it. I've told you. Arra marriage that from nowhere you are just standing and they come and say, Here is the lady. It's okay. You can suggest, you can recommend, and people can pray. But where you just ag agree, and the day the person is appearing is the day ring is entering your hand. Hey, hey, hey. You are in big, 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 big trouble. Because the man is only marrying a wife, not a friend. It is a friend that stick it closer than a brother. Any marriage where there is no passion, there must be unfaithfulness. It's not there will be. There must be unfaithfulness. A man cannot struggle indefinitely contemplating his love for his wife. He will find an alternative. And what a generation with many alternatives. His secretary is there. If she's not there, the other one is there. If she's not around, another devil is there somewhere in the hotel. If she's not there, a, a receptionist of another place is somewhere. At every given point, there is somebody waiting to destroy your husband. There are certain women, there are spirits that walk in them, only married men. If they see a young man, no matter what you have, it's not their business. But once they see you, you are married. Ah, what a joy. If you complain about your wife, say, ah, what kind of a woman will oppress such a nice man as this? That's right. He's starting. He's starting. That's exactly what the man wants to hear. I'm very serious with what I'm sharing tonight. Passion. When two people come, you know, to introduce themselves, they just come. You see, sometimes they hold hands. It's as if, hey, hey, hey let's marry you. I said, oh God, just calm down. Because these motions are not passion. Passion is not the, the physical exertion. You are all around the lady. That's not passion. Sometimes it's just jealousy and your personality. It's not passion. Passion is the depth of resolve. It's a resolve within you. That through that lady you have gotten satisfaction and fulfillment. No need for another. The Bible puts it excellently. Many daughters have done well. But thou excellest them. A man who cannot say that to his wife is already a dangerous man. It is true. I know that you may not be the most beautiful lady. Let's tell the truth. I've seen this lady. I know she's beautiful, but you are my wife. You occupy a place that you alone can stay. May God raise men who can speak like that. Not that a beautiful lady passes and even the wife is now afraid because she knows who she married. She just says, honey, must we stand outside? Let's go inside. She, she has already known. The man said, no, no, no. I have to take fresh air. What is all this? Vulnerability. See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you a big secret. There are four sets of people if you are marrying, you have to listen to this thing two times. One, if you are marrying a man of God, we are exposed to people every day. People means options. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Number two, a high profile businessman. Number three, a politician. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Number four, a lecturer. Anybody in the academia. If you are married to any of these four people, listen with both ears and add your spirit in it. Because he is exposed. As I'm standing here preaching, there are all kinds of pretty ladies. You are not seeing me, but I'm seeing you. Are we together? Say amen. amen. So, when you are not careful, you will be surprised that your husband has four children. You never knew. One day, somebody just knocks your house and says, I must look for my father. You say, what is going on here? Spiritual father? And you see a carbon copy of your child. Look, look, look. Don't think I'm just talking. 
there are many children scattered around they belong to your family it's just that you don't know the day Jesus will come let's just leave him to be the judge amen please let me have our attention very serious issues have you not seen families some of you come from those families after 20 years one day they'll call a meeting and say honestly uh, there, are, there are so many there are complications around you don't know who is your real mother you don't know who is your real father you really don't know how many you are in your family you just know what they told you as you grow you keep learning more you thought you were seven now you have discovered you are ten and eventually the children will say they are coming when the father now dies that's when you know there's trouble because the family with the legitimate wife are all girls and the ones they gave birth to somewhere are boys the moment the father dies they now show up and say no way our father is our father and in our culture women don't inherit anything therefore they displace people I've counseled cases like that are we together very important passion please my brother if you find out it is okay listen it is very okay to see a lady and just be fond of her the mystery of attraction is when you find a lady or a person or an object demonstrating many things you perceive to represent value to you so if beauty represents value it's impossible to see a pretty girl and pretend it's not being spiritual look look very well this ask you why I say because I'm a Christian you are not lying so looking it's not all those fake things to pretend you a pretty lady passes there yeah, I didn't see and no, you saw you saw it's just that you have self-control are we together Passion. you must have passion Many people don't have passion. The lifespan of their passion is a few weeks after marriage. The lifespan of their passion is when they say, I do. Some, the lifespan of their passion is when she gives them three children and four children. That was his goal, to have children. They've been pressuring you. Promise, you are getting old. No marriage. Marry. I need three children. Fine. That's the premise of the marriage. So you married an object that produces children. The moment she produces the children, the goal has been achieved. So there is nothing else. Do you know how many women, brothers and sisters, some of you parents, some of you sadly, you are the ones yourself in that kind of shoes. Do you know how many women move like strangers before their husband? And sometimes they almost wonder and say, you mean this man once asked me out. He once stood in the cold waiting for me to come. Look at how some of our fathers treat our mothers. It's a mess. And they have mentored us to do the same. If God does not intercept, believe me, you will reproduce the same result. Many daughters have done well, but thou excellest them all. There is an appetite for discontentment in the body of Christ. Brothers, let me encourage you. Please be careful. And, and, and sisters too. I've not come to brothers yet. I'm talking about sisters. But it's a quality for brothers. Passion whenever you see that you are attracted to a lady it's not enough reason to go and ask them out that's lack of self-control are we together it is okay that i look at this lady and i'm attracted to her it's okay but self-control that's what they say in the multitude of many counsel there is safety some the moment you see a lady and she's fine day and then even if it's during a prayer session in the heat of prayer say please can you see me after after prayer Shaka bada 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 bada. discipline <laughs> hallelujah the next moment that's your first time you are even new in the prayer they have not even confirmed you you are not a member of the prayer department you are just arriving that day you say sister honestly where where do your parents stay let me tell you what you have just revealed about yourself you are a very indisciplined brother because you come into a place with structure and authority and you just come in and do anything you want to do and sometimes the ladies are foolish enough to play around those kind of things discipline 
let people come and meet order in your life then they are forced to respect that order are we together now Jesus is helping us today. somebody somebody is really getting blessed from what I'm saying it's very important are we together now passion if you are married here you must pray consistently brothers fathers to keep having passion for your wife not just your children because gone are the days when ladies will respect a man just when he's married and you can see and say ah Jimmy is married let's leave him no no you can see somebody as old as my father and still come and meet me daddy how are you that daddy is, is, is he just means I'm available gone are the days you can see a man at my father's age see a small girl and say ah uh-uh, my daughter how are you you, you would think he's fatherly my daughter but he's, he's, he's not fatherly my daughter at all it's another dimension on his own so that you are married you know sometimes many men deceive themselves they just think the moment you are married it just means people will leave you alone just because you are married no our society it should be like that but our society has become so depraved that a ring is just a jewelry a ring is just a jewelry for entertainment are you hearing what i'm saying now it's something that symbolizes a covenant relationship it's, a, it's entertainment so when you wear a ring and say if they see a ring they'll mind themselves it's a joke it's a big joke where to it won't change anything thank you my dear love and passion love and passion and then the last key ladies I will dwell a bit here today never marry a man who is irresponsible that's the last point there must be a demonstration of responsibility 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 many brothers are irresponsible Christian brothers inclusive irresponsible tongue talking Christian brothers what does it mean to be responsible to be responsible means it means to be aware of the cost dimension of life taking cognizance of the cost dimension of life I don't mean money that anything to be done must be done by someone the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder of all an irresponsible person says uh-uh, they have not done it a responsible person says can we do it are you seeing that now let me tell you something please look up there is a tragedy that has happened in nigeria especially to nigerian young men please listen if you can hear what I'm saying, it will save you. Many gentlemen around the world have been victims of this. And some of them seated here looking at me. I want you to listen very carefully. Do you know many young men have been over pampered? And that's why they are irresponsible today. Over pampering does not mean they came from a rich family. A poor family can still over pamper a man. Let me tell you how they over pampered them. A young man is 18 years. The moment he's washing his clothes, you say, ah, uh-uh, is there not house help? Wash for him. Because we have washing machine in our house. A young man who is supposed to start learning to be responsible. Are we together now? He goes out and by four o'clock you are ringing his phone. Return home. Return home. It looks like you are trying to be disciplinary. There is an age range where he needs to be home. But there is an age range where that guy is submissive. Maybe he's in church as a choir director and you are now calling a matured boy of 19 years old it's five o'clock where are you come home so the guy is now 25 and he stays home he married with his wife and stays home just like mommy said obedient child nobody goes out to get food again because he has been trained come home in america from 12 years 12 years old in america you see children looking for something to do post office Ah, there, there's no chair for us they always expect to be recipients not contributors it's not your fault that's why I'm helping you tonight many brothers are like that they are born again they love God but anything that discomforts them a little uh-uh, they don't want it 
It's irresponsibility that produces laziness. Laziness. Get up and do something. You have a meeting for five o'clock. It's raining heavily. I say, Kai, oh, quarter to five, please. Uh, Benga, I can't make it for the meeting. Kai, I'm tired. This rain, the cold is too much. That's a lazy man who will not feed his family. You see that? He will not feed his family because he will say there's crisis in Nigeria. They can kill people if they go outside and he will leave his family members to die. The Bible says a lazy man will not sow because of the cold and he will also not reap. I am a fanatic of responsibility. Responsibility. You cannot be around me and not be a responsible person. Waiting for things to be done for you. No, sir. You must learn to be an initiator, not just a recipient. There are many men today, the salary comes from their wives. Correct? It's okay if there is a situation that happened in, in the course of the marriage and the woman has to be supporting. You see somebody from 1996, no job. It's the wife that works, pays the children's school fees and the man is alive. Two hands, two legs. He gets up in the morning, sits at the veranda of the house. They are playing draft together with other colleagues, irresponsible men who come. They form a team and they just play. Where's your wife? Uh, you know, she's a nurse. She works in the hospital. You know, women, she will come in the evening. The woman will return. There is no food. She will come and be cooking. And the, the male figure in that family is learning. He doesn't like it, but his ideology is being shaped after the example he's seeing. There are too many irresponsible people. There are irresponsible pastors who expect members to be the one to raise money for church. Have you seen people like that? There are irresponsible pastors who expect members to be the ones to give them money. Am I not your pastor? Buy a car for me. Build a house for me. Marry for me. That's an irresponsible man of God. He's a man of God, but an irresponsible one. Responsibility. So you must look at it. Responsibility is not having a car. That's not responsibility. Responsibility is not having a house. That's not responsibility. That's the indices many ladies are using and you are already getting into a big mistake. Responsibility is not having a car and a house. Please listen. I can have a car and a house by the privilege of access. It doesn't mean I'm responsible. So stop using a car and a house to prove that a man is responsible. Eventually it's an index that will show responsibility. But responsibility is from the heart. The willingness to grow, to press. The willingness to fulfill the cost dimension of life. Don't say there are two brothers. One has a car. The other one is working on his foot. And so I, let me just go with what I'm seeing now. The moment the car spoils, that's the last car he will ever buy in his life because he never bought the first one in the first place. Many ladies don't know how to trust God for good brothers. We pray in tongues, but we don't know what to expect. And so I'm painting a picture for you right now. Somebody already after Koinonia, you answer the guy. You see how God has given you the answer? The answer is no. The answer is no. Immediately after Koinonia, you send him a text. He said, please. Sorry I've delayed you, but the answer is no. Because you are not God-fearing. You don't submit to any authority and you don't want to. He may not know, but is he willing to now that he knows? Are we together now? Yeah. Number three, do you love me passionately? No. You passworded your phone, passworded your text, passworded your laptop, passworded a call is coming. You just run outside. You save the name of a lady, John. You save the name of the other lady, Andrew. Because you turn the head of people to be stupid. Andrew, why are you calling me? It's a coded language. You are not serious. Hallelujah. And finally, the man is not responsible. The average African family has a, has a family to take care of. A nuclear family first. I hope you are aware. Brothers, are you aware? <laughs> Be aware now that the average African family, there is every likelihood your wife is not the last born. What does that mean to you? You are a direct contributor. You are going to contribute. There are families that they gave birth late. Praise God. So, one sister is ready for marriage. The other one is still in primary school. You are going to take care of them. It's not supposed to be so, but it's a reality you are bargained for. That's what saying I love you means. That's what saying I want to marry you means. 
She tells you I'm the firstborn. Out of how many? Seven. You said you still love her. What you are trying to say is, look, it's all right. We can find a way around it. Brothers, let me say your own quickly. Brothers, I can beg you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. It's better to have a broken relationship, honorable. In fact, don't break relationships, end them. It's better to have an ended relationship than to have a scattered and pieces marriage. One, you can give me, thank you. What do you look for in a, a lady? God fearing too. You see that God fearing is the same for both male and female? God fearing. Exact same definitions as with the man. Nothing changing. Gender irrespective. The same God fearing. God fearing meaning you respect God. Many ladies don't respect God. Many ladies don't respect God. They respect themselves, they respect society. They respect every other thing but God. There are ladies who pride themselves in being bad girls, even if they are in church. They are happy when they look and say, You're a bad girl. They, they smile. That we go do. If you are a bad girl, it's a very bad, it's not a good comment. You know, many ladies feel guilty. Listen, I'm saying this from the depth of my heart. Many sisters, innocent church sisters, they feel guilty. Listen, they feel guilty for being innocent. You know, society makes it look like your eye has not opened. You've not been sleeping around. You've never drank in your life. Uh-uh. You don't have a boyfriend. You are 20 years. Uh-uh. You mean this is this? This is how your life is? And they make ladies feel guilty for being innocent. They look and say, she's a small girl. She's just growing old. Come to us. We, we, we have our legs. Are, you, see, you are happy for being bad. It's a different thing if it's your past. Jesus has helped you now. Or at least will help you this night. Are we together? God-fearing. A woman who is not God-fearing will have a husband and her sponsor. That's how she will marry. There is a husband and a sponsor. What is the sponsor for rainy days? What's the husband for? Every other thing. So once the going gets tough, she calls. Do you know how many women, married women, still call those who were their ex-husband or ex-boyfriend or ex-sugar uh, son or ex-whatever it is and call the person after many years? A woman with five children still calls one small boy somewhere. How are you reporting her husband to the small boy? And the small boy said, How will we do now? He said, Can we meet in so 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 club at the back of that tree? Just the, the way we used to meet before. You are married. The, the average lady still has affiliations with her past relationships, even in her marital home. I will say it all. My name is Joshua Selman. The average lady still has affiliations. I tell you this. You know I'm not lying. Some of you as you are looking at me, you know it's true. Although you may be married, but you still call John. And it's not just brotherly, how are you? Is the family okay? No, John. I need help. You have to help me. This is my husband. You know he's a stupid man, John. I say, as it is always, you, you know, we know ourselves. I say, no problem, John. Can you do the transfer now? praise God that's why they are not faithful that's why they are not desperate to change their husbands when they come for prayer meetings like this and they say if your husband is not doing well pray they are not praying they know the prayer will be answered and they are not interested so they rather just other people pray and you see the woman just praying just looking around because whatever happens there is a well you don't say concubine for a man do you There's somebody somewhere an affiliate <laughs> Who they are waiting for. Number two, brothers, what should you look at in a woman? A woman who is submissive to the man at all times. Submissive to the man on the line at all times. I don't have a problem with submission, but when? At all times, convenient or not. Submission has never been a choice. 
Write it down. That's your own part. Oh, apostle, you don't know how foolish my husband is. Don't worry, I'm coming. I've not finished. For now, just know your own role. Submit. Submission is a difficult thing. Listen, ladies, look at me. Let me tell you a big secret. Submission is a risk. It's a risk. You don't know the man too well. No matter how long you have been going out, submission is a risk. When you marry, you will discover many other things you never knew. Submission is by faith and it's a risk. It's a risk. You've not seen what the man can do when he has money. You've not seen what the man can do when he doesn't have money. You've not seen what the man can do when his job is under pressure. You've not seen what he's done if he's promoted to become a CEO. Yet the Bible says submit. Submission is a risk. You need the Holy Spirit to do it. That's why you have your own part to make sure that the authority you submit to has been vetted thoroughly by God. Hallelujah. You must submit to the man at all times. When ladies refuse to submit to their husbands and they say he's not man enough, that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible did not say submit to man enough men. Apostle is not, he's not providing anything. I'm the one bringing the money. I'm the one paying the school fees. I'm not stupid. I know. Be word compliant. You are, can only judge disobedience when your obedience is complete. There are many ladies who want the men. Listen, and sisters, please hear me. Most of us, this mindset came from our mothers and our, our parents generally. We must correct it. The idea that a man must prove he is capable, then I will now submit to him. Hey, you are a hypocrite. You are doing this exactly what his secretary is doing in the office. Who will not submit to a man who gives you food? If I buy you a plate of food, won't you greet me like this the next time? That's what you want your husband to do. There is a difference between your husband and other people. I know you don't like what I'm saying, but it's the Bible. Remember, we agreed that we are going to submit to God in all things. That's the Bible. Submission is hard. I never said it is easy. I never said it is easy. You will be a fool submitting. It's sad, but it's the truth. Because there are times it will not make sense. Your friends will look at you and say, you are stupid. Why are you doing this? Your husband does not deserve you. It's true. But the Bible says that's why for those of you who are not married and those of you who are not in a relationship, you should thank God. All this rush, I want to enter a relationship. My blood is hot. You will thank God now for this message. Because the relationship you would have entered will be the beginning of disaster. No guidance. Submit to the man at all times. And it starts from the relationship. It's not when you get married. No, it starts from the relationship. I know submission is not foolishness, but the Bible instructs it. You see why mentorship is good? You see why I spoke about a spiritual authority? Because if you are playing your role well, and the man is not doing his thing, you have a right. That third party that has been authorized can come in and say, no, 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 no. Wife is doing her part well. And because the man submits to authority, he will listen. If his deliverance, they will cast the demon out. If he's counseling, they will manage his pressures at the moment. But where you are submitting to a man who does not submit to God, does not submit to authority, you are in trouble. Big trouble. What is number three? Let's hurry up. What kind of woman should you marry, brother? A woman who is sacrificial and hospitable. Third point. Sacrificial and hospitable. In the 21st century, you marry a woman who cannot sacrifice, you have married disaster. There are many ladies who like, who cannot inconvenience themselves for the growth of their homes. No. Hallelujah. The moment the man loses his job, the wife changes. She can't love him again. There are many people I counsel and it's, it's sad the way their wives treat them when things are not going well. Oh, he just bought a house. He just got promotion. My husband, my husband. They just blackmailed him. Oh. They said, ah, this and that happened and they demoted him. She won't refuse, but you see the body language. Honey, why now? You know I don't like plantain. Please don't disturb me. In this house, when you bring money, we cook well. Subliminal statements. You have started communicating. It's a terrible thing. 
Please hear what I'm saying. The Lord is speaking very seriously. Never submit to a man because he has money or because he does not have money. The Bible never does that. The Bible never instructs that. So choose whether you want to marry or not. Thank God marriage is not compulsory. But if you want to do it God's way, you must submit. There is no excuse for rebellion. It's a terrible thing when women gather together with their friends. Now I know, I know, look, I understand that there are times that women sit down and talk to comfort themselves. But there are women who are perpetually in a habit, in a habit of sitting with groups. They travel to this state, there is a group. And they sit down and lambast their husbands. They talk all kinds of nonsense, reveal family secrets, bedroom secrets are, that are not for the consumption of the public. And when they finish, they come back and they expect all those women everywhere to respect the men. They will not. Your man, your man had a challenge and maybe he had an affair with a lady. He has apologized. A man of God came in. They managed the situation. It's only you and the pastor who has managed the situation. You now carried your mouth. You have run it from east to west, from UK to London. Everybody knows your husband once had a challenge. And one day they look at him and the day he annoys the person who knows that secret, the person will go and publish something. In 1971, you see them do it in America. When God is about to bless somebody, somebody will just come crying on TV and say, look, I remember what you did to me. These are that. Because we don't keep quiet. The Bible says that even a fool when he's silent is regarded wise. The Bible tells every woman to cover her head there is a dimension of physical covering but there is a dimension of spiritual covering cover your head the head over your life protect him protect him he's vulnerable protect him are you getting blessed sacrificial listen no matter how rich you are no matter how blessed you are a time must come in your relationship and your marriage when you will need sacrifice. Is that true? Sacrifice. There may be times when God can give an instruction. Promise. So that three bedroom flat that you have built and go to a rented apartment. I don't teach irresponsibility but there are times God will give that instruction and for those times it will require sacrifice there are times because you want a good education of your child you will constrain certain things please we cannot go to London on vacation one day we will go but for now we cannot go let us use that money to train our children but there are many women they won't hear other women are going even those who are your genius in office but we we are here no unhealthy comparison hospitality I don't want to talk about that sadly there are ladies who are not hospitable at all you will buy bonds together with a friend you are just with the friend you eat the bonds eat the second one eat the third one squeeze the leather and try and say guy this bond serve is not very sweet you will never give it even to say please take you give them once if they say no you refuse because you never meant to give it stingy attitudes and that kind of thing translates in a home visitors who come to your house and sit down for hours they are discussing critical issues with your husband there are even women men of god who come to their house and they won't do anything when the man is about going ah, ah, when we are warming rice please i stayed in your house for two hours warming with rice even if you are cooking it it will be done by then <laughs> ladies listen 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 please don't laugh it's a serious thing it starts from your attitude in the hostel your pot is your own. Your corner is your own. Your everything is your own. Your shoe is your own. Your water is your own. Your Bible is your own. Your bed sheet is your own. That's how everything will be your own. Even when you get married, you will demarcate it. Husband, this section of the house is for me. This one is for you. This one is for the children. There are many people who cannot give. They like taking, but they cannot give. Me ever buy anything for a guy over my dead body he will keep buying for me oh. because to buy 200 naira the charge card he said what will i do he's already rich that's he's the one that asked me out i didn't ask him all that those stupid nigerian film type wise sayings that many people imbibe and keep using to destroy their lives no sir sacrifice say sacrifice 
you must learn to sacrifice. Many ladies feel ashamed being sacrificial. They feel cheap being sacrificial. We have been indoctrinated by a society that makes women feel cheap when they have to sacrifice. So they come to a guy and honestly speaking, all this guy has is a small room and all of this, but God is helping him. And no, 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 no. That attitude of sacrifice is not there. I want tomorrow now. Now, I want tomorrow now. They say we should do this, this and that. I need 90,000 from you. And the brother says, look, honestly, I don't have anything now. You know it. I mean, you can take my ATM. You won't hate him, but your body language. There are many relationships I've counseled. The moment the guy does not have money, he's in trouble. You will see the language of the lady. One month before, he gave her 10,000. As if it's your father. You called your physical father. He said he won't give you anything. You now call somebody you are going out with and you want to swallow him. Only 2,000. Okay, I'm grateful. You are saying you are grateful, but your body language for that remaining one month Kai, is being shameless. It's not good training. Hallelujah. You come into the life of a man, you did not contribute anything. Yet, just because he loves you, you want to sit down at the throne of his heart and control his ATM and control his destiny. The only person permitted to occupy that position is Jesus. Are we together? Yeah. There are many brothers suffering under the hands of ladies and women and wives in many respects who cannot be patient. You don't eat tomorrow today. Are you getting blessed? Brothers, the last thing is now the physical factor. Are you seeing that is now I even brought the physical factor? It must be in that order. That's when you can look at every other thing you want to look at. She beautiful, is she all of these things? L listen, as I have known God more, truly let me tell you this. As I have known God more, and as I have received mentorship from men and women and elderly people who have worked in this life, I found out that all these physical things they are important, but sincerely, let me tell you the truth from the depth of my heart, they will fade like a leaf. They will fade and vanish like a leaf. I have counseled very beautiful women whose husbands pounded their faces like whatever and drove them out without praying about it. If the entire reason why you are attracted to a woman is physical, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. I was in Joss when I went to see my parents at, at the beginning of this year. I happened to go and visit um, one man. He used to be my principal and that was the advice he gave me before he knelt down and, 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 and I'll pray for him. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you one truth. Be careful. I'm not saying physical things are not important. But when your concentration on physical beauty or attraction or looks or physique or shape or whatever it is supersedes the fear of God. Are we together now? Supersedes, what's the second one? Submission to the man supersedes whatever. You've heard me say it again. You just come and meet a lady. There are serious issues. Maybe in a family of 10 and all of them are non-Christians. You know what I mean? And she's the only Christian. She's saying, sorry, oh, this is the family you are going to. You didn't settle down to pray. You said, no problem. You are too fine for me to let you go. You are in trouble. My mother is a witch. It's okay. I love you like that. I, me, I'm telling you, she's a traditional. Pra I know. Don't, don't worry. There's koinonia. There's miracle service. And people get a lot of casualties. Sorry, man of uh, my brother, I need to tell you something. I was born with some kind of deficiency. Honestly, I'm physically not able to take in. I can't have a child. That's a little bit what is children. The most important thing is love for you. You will now drive yourself and get married. After two years, you want to kill her. As if she didn't tell you. You see it. Please spiritualize spiritualize your process of getting a wife. Don't be carnal. Don't sit with brothers and say, have you looked at this one? What do you, what can you say? It depends on who you are talking to. If you are talking, if you are talking to a brother who is not born again, you are in trouble. He will give you the counsel of Ahitophel. And after two years, you will be surprised to see that beauty can fade. Say Amen. 
God fearing, submissive at all times, sacrificial, hospitable. Let me talk about responsibility for a while and then maybe for a few minutes and then we'll pray. Write it down. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 8. Please give us first Timothy 5 verse 8 quickly. Brothers, I want to talk to you now. I want to talk to everybody, but specifically to the men. We need responsible men in our society. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 8. Is that possible? If that's not possible, I would look for it. Go ahead and read it. It's projected inside, outside. One to read. Uh huh. Hold on. This is a big revelation. Stop there. The Bible says, provide for his own. His own talks of relative and everybody connected. Then it says, but especially, meaning first and foremost, what's your first responsibility? The Bible never said, love your neighbor as yourself. There are people who sit down and their wives are suffering and they are donating cars and buses to churches. Whereas they cannot pay their children's school fees. It's an irresponsible life. The Bible says, especially to those of his own house. He said he had denied what? The faith. And is worse than an infidel. Write this down. What is responsibility? Responsibility is a burden of obligation over someone or something. Responsibility is a burden of obligation over someone or something. Number two, quickly. Responsibility is an awareness of consequences. An awareness of consequences. That if you do this, there is a consequence. If you do not do this, there is a consequence. Responsibility is an awareness of consequence. I identified a few reasons here where people are, why people are generally not responsible. Let me talk about them for a few minutes. Number one, the reason why many people are not responsible and why they may never succeed is their indecision over their success and establishment. The reason why many brothers, many sisters, but brothers especially, may never get established is indecision. There is a difference between a wish and a decision. I want to eat rice. That's a wish. I want to eat rice. But I will get up and go to the restaurant and buy it. Or I will go to the market to cook it. That's a decision. Backed up by the willingness to pay the price to actualize it. There are many brothers wishing. Wishing through prayer. Wishing through reading books. Wishing through receiving prophecy. Wishing through dropping their prayer points in miracle service. No. Wishing does not produce provide an answer indecision over being successful look at me God is speaking to people here I preached the first message I preached about responsibility in ministry was a message called come out of your father's house that message blessed people in no small way there are many of us who keep lying to ourselves that we are young I'm, I'm young you know I am 20 I am 30 even 40 you say you are young are we together you must learn to take responsibility over your, your life if anything will be done you will have to contribute in making it happen indecision you've never made a decision to rise up and be serious you've made a decision to marry you've made a decision to have children You've made a decision to fantasize, but you've not made a decision to be diligent, diligent, and say, no, I'm tired of the way my life is. Lord Jesus, things have to change. Look, let me tell you something. There are brothers listening to me right now and some following online. This night should be your night of decision. Many years ago, I got, I made up my mind that I was going to be a very responsible person. I, it was a vow that I took with God. Are we together? Exactly 14 years ago. In fact, 15 years ago. Exactly 15 years ago. I made that decision. That I was going to be serious and be responsible. The first book I bought was 
Discovering Your Purpose by Dr. Mike Murdoch, Dr. Miles Munro. And I sat down. When I read that book, I cried. I remember writing it. I still have the book till today. It was a vow that I wrote. I will be a responsible man of God. I will be a, a responsible father. I will be a responsible husband. I will be a responsible leader. Decisions. How do I know you have taken a decision to be successful? When you stop making excuses. Excuses. The language of irresponsible men. I would have done it but it's not my fault. You too you understand. No sir. Stop making excuses. Nigeria is in recession. That's why no. Men who make men who are fond of making excuses are not responsible men. And that includes women too, of course. Number two, admit your mistakes. That's how I know you have decided to succeed. Admit your mistakes. Admit it. Oh, I was careless in this area. I admit. Number three, stop blaming other people for your problems. Many young Nigerians like this. We blame government. We blame all kinds of things. We blame demons. We blame our father. My father didn't train me well. At my age, look at it's now I'm entering 100 level. It's not the best. But now that you have entered, take responsibility. Take responsibility. There are too many people in anger blaming people. They didn't pay my school fees. The reason why I'm sleeping around for school fees is because I have a stupid father. Okay, I agree. I sympathize with you. But now that you are in Christ, is God speaking to us tonight? His teaching is becoming hot. Koinonia is quiet. I pray that it's entering your spirit because that's the goal. Stop making excuses. Brother, stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. You are making the same excuse since you were 15. You are 31 now. Stop making excuses. Your father drove your mother when you were 9 years. Now you are 20. You are 20. 11 years ago. Get over it and move forward. Oh, apostle, I was raped when I was 2 years. I'm sorry. I feel very bad for you. But the God of heaven has helped. I, 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 I'm, I'm not, I, I know it's very bad and it's disheartening. But get over it and move forward. In fact, we don't even have too much of that in Africa. It's down the west you find irresponsible people. A 70 year old man will come out and say the reason why he was, he was poor was because the father emotionally abused him and they'll send a counselor 70 years. He, he abused you. When, how old were you? I was five. For 65 years you allowed your life to move like a car without a driver and now you are blaming your father going to stand in his graveyard. Dad, I know you're dead. But this and that and that trouble stories all this drama and gimmicks oh no take responsibility stand and throw stones at a graveyard and go back 70 years that's a wasted life indecision have you made a decision that you will succeed Brothers, look at me. Have you made a decision that your children will not beg for school fees under your authority? Don't say amen. Have you made a decision? Have you made a decision that your wife will not be moving around and go and enter one bus and somebody will be pushing her pregnant nine months? Madam, shift! One small boy somewhere is pushing your wife. Have you made a decision to be responsible? Have you made a decision to train your children in the fear of the Lord? Have you made a decision to bring the banner of Jesus in your family? Have you made a decision that you are not going to sit one day and explain and tell your children stories and say that man on TV, we were classmates. Have you made a decision? Many of us have not. We have been wishing, but we have never made a decision. Tonight, make it in Koinonia. Are we together? Make that decision. Make that decision. When you make a decision to be successful, you will stop immediately. You stop being a small child. The concept of small child is not by age. The moment there is nothing that occupies your life to keep you focused. That's why people are free. 10 o'clock, you see them moving around. 
drinking sugar cane on the road, eating carrots on the road, just moving around, and they say, Ah, bros, how now? And say, You are free. Are you, are you free? Say, Yes. Where are you going? Man, I got one movie. There's one new computer game. That's a man who has not made a decision to be successful. Because when you make that decision, your purpose is supposed to occupy you for a lifetime. You will be too busy. You have to even receive grace from God to think about marriage. Many people are not purpose driven. By nine o'clock, you've slept. You wake up by six because you are free. You still sleep back. Wake up by 12. You wake up, you are still free. You still sleep back. You spend from four to five making calls, disturbing visionary people. How are you? It's been a while. Say, sorry, I'm walking. Why are you treating me like this? Is it because I don't have money? Let's talk, Jerry. And the person is saying, I'm busy. And you call it pride. May you be too busy for your enemies to distract you. May you be too busy for visionless people to come into your life and come gossiping, talking nonsense. There are many of us, our idleness and our purposelessness has created the exact atmosphere for gossip and everything. Because you are not working. You don't do anything. People will leave their homes and come and crowd in your house. Your, your house is the meeting place. Everybody talks about their marriage. They talk about their children. They talk about everything. You are the recipient. No. Be too busy. Be too busy. Are we together? Somebody wants to come and gossip. As he's coming close to your house, he sees that you are busy. There are so many things happening. Many brothers are too idle. They are too idle. Call them in the night, they are snoring. Call them in the morning, they are snoring. You're not going to make a great life that way. Look, I will tell you the truth because I love you. That's why many of our parents could not pay our school fees. Huh? Could not pay our school fees. There are fathers today. There are many people seated here. It's not your parents that are paying your school fees. And they are alive. And they are doing well. You come and meet them and say, Daddy, I need school fees. They say, are you stupid? What should I do? He said, I don't know what is happening in Nigeria. Automatically, what they are telling you is, are you not a lady? Go and do whatever you know to do to bring the fees. Do you know how I know many parents are irresponsible? Now, let me say this. And I say it with all honor to God for the privilege of being able to help people. Out of all the people I have paid their school fees and paid the school fees, less than 2%, less than 2% of their parents have cared to call to find out who is paying your school fees. There are people who have been paying their school fees for more than four years. There are people who have paid their school fees from secondary school till they graduated. And not once did their parents call to say, come on, who exactly is the man of God that is paying your school fees? Let's at least come and see him and say thank you. Are we together? Yeah. So I know what I'm saying. Very irresponsible people. There are people, some of you, as you are here now, although you are a student, you are still sending money home. Your father is alive. Your mother is alive. It's not that they are old. They cannot work. They will even call you. My daughter, nothing for us this month. And they never ask you how the money is coming. So you don't even... Do you know, I made a statement and um, it is scaring me. The things that women and even men do for money is becoming scary. As I counsel people, I'm being afraid. Honestly, I will tell you this. There are many people, I tell you, their parents are not responsible for their lives. A daughter in a family where they cannot even afford bottled water comes with a phone of 150,000. She's not earning. She's not working. You don't know who is in a relationship with her. No brother has come to show he's responsible. And the father says, uh -uh, you are enjoying. No? Just leave her own for us. You see that kind of man? Somebody comes to drop your daughter by 11.30 in the night. 11.30, you are the one as the father opens the gate for him. Say, ah, ah, my God, look at this guy. Welcome. She enters with a new dressing that already shows hellfire. And yet, you, you, please see, this thing I'm saying, I'm not being hard on people. I'm challenging something. If you love Jesus Christ and you love your future, you will love what I'm saying. You may not love me, but love what I'm saying. There's too much carelessness. 
to the extent that there are many parents who don't even know whether their daughters in, are in the home or not. Three days they've not come home. They don't know. If they see them, fine. If they don't see them, fine. It's a different thing. If they are adults, they can live their lives. You can say, this is my daughter, but I did not teach her this. She's taking her decision about life. But you see some of these young ladies that move around? Very small girls. They look at you. Even as a man of God, they don't respect you. Because people older than you are the ones dealing with them. You greet them, they want to treat you like that man who was with them yesterday. A stupid attitude. They see you, you even look at them and you see them doing some funny things. You are trying to correct them and tell them something is wrong. Everybody in their eyes is a boyfriend. They don't know the difference between leaders. They are seeing their parents greeting a man of God and they come out and they are behaving all kinds of things. They think he's another toaster. No respect, no dignity. Are we together? Yeah. This is the carelessness that is happening in society. Do you know, to the point that if you bless a lady and give her 5,000, she will be looking at you and smiling. It's like she's waiting for the other side of the deal. What other side? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Because nobody helps for nothing. We live in a society where nobody helps for nothing. If I give you 10,000 naira, you know what to do tomorrow. See, listen, let me encourage you. I don't condemn you, but if there is any man in your life, please listen to me, listen to me, who you are exchanging money for going to meet that man, stop it this night. In the name of Jesus, say amen. amen. Say it. Amen. Send them text messages. Whether he's a lecturer or a military officer in judges, send him a text message after Koinonia and say, no weekend again, sir. He say, why? Say, a man of God I love so much has spoken. Oh, I will double what I'm giving you. That's not the issue. Are we together? It's very important. It's very disheartening. Please, if you're a parent here and you are listening to me, I'm not saying you sit down and probe your daughters. Ladies, please don't get it personal. But someone has got to talk to them. It's, it's, too, it's too much. It's too careless. It's too much. A daughter comes with a phone that even her father cannot buy. 250,000 naira phone. A laptop. Whatever it is. And nobody can ask a question. Nobody. Of course you cannot ask because you were never part of her life. You never contributed in making it happen. So is it today now you ask her where did the laptop come from? It's a terrible thing. See, when you see me close to my ladies in Koinonia here, it's for a reason. Many of them literally did not have that father figure in their life. Literally. The moment they are hungry, they know they must sleep with somebody. So for them, they are shocked having somebody that can bless your life. Genuinely. Kai, parents, we need, we have work to do. Many of our parents have really failed us. It's very important. But then we must take responsibility. Please, sisters, you are going to vow in the name of the Lord today. It's better for them to drive you away from school than you should. Do you know how many people you catch HIV today? Do you think the man who gave you the HIV? There are many people who move around, you are seeing. It looks like they are healthy. They, 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 aside from the spirit in them, spiritually speaking, curses, yokes, spells on their head, they land everything on your destiny. You are too small for that kind of that kind of thing. There are people who you see them young and small, but the things they have gone through, they can sell you and bring the change. They look at you as if they don't know anything. The Lord will help us. The Lord will seriously help us. Valentine is coming again. An opportunity for destroyers to emerge. From tomorrow, they are selling cakes now, selling balloon, selling letters, selling all kinds of things. They will come roaming around like wolves, about to eat up the destinies of people. They leave their wives and their children. Some of them, 
their parents some of the people that some of these men are looking for the lady they are looking for is even the daughter of the man's friend is that true yeah there are ladies that pride themselves in dealing with certain classes of men we don't do all these small small boys no us our own we deal with a butcher kind 99 days for the thief the, the owner is not your husband the owner is Jesus the day the owner will come and say look I'm fed up with your life you'll be in trouble men will go and catch HIV and come and give their wives women will catch HIV and give their husbands and kill themselves I paid a lady's school fees today by the grace of God and to the glory of God and it was a disheartening situation her registration was closing today in one of, I don't even know the person in the university today her father and her mother both died of HIV and left two of them taking care of themselves I asked the lady how have you been paying your school fees she said I do tailoring I laughed I said I'm not a small child how have you been paying your school fees answer me hey, what is you do tailoring how much is your school fees and how much do you sew clothes and that's when she shocked me and said she has been paying it by doing whatever she does with her pastor <laughs> nothing goes for nothing this is Nigeria you can't you can't eat your cake and have it I live to praise your name I have no fear of what tomorrow brings hallelujah we are going to pray Proverbs 21 verse 20 I want to cast a spirit among men tonight. It's called the spirit of a waster. Write it down. The spirit of a waster. We must cast that spirit out of our brothers. The spirit of waste. Proverbs 21 verse 20. Wasted opportunities. Wasted relationships. i like us to read it. It's projected. One to read. And oil in the dwelling of the wise uh -huh. but a foolish man spended it up look at me you know when I talk to many brothers the first thing they tell me is apostle times are hard there's no money I want to do business there is no money it's a lie look at me God has been faithful to many brothers if you are a typer at one point or the other in your life God has been faithful but many people in the body of Christ are wasters wasters of resources wasters of opportunities living a lie living a false life your salary is 50,000 but you are staying in a house of 500,000 you are a waster are we together? your salary is 100,000 you are driving a car of 5.5 .5. you are a waster I told people don't buy a car until you have money up to 10% of the value of that car consistently for maintenance. Your maintenance cost is approximately 10 to 20% of the overall value of the car you buy on a consistent basis. Many people go and collect loans from the bank. Instead of them to buy a simple car, they buy different kinds of cars, move around to prove a point. You are earning 20,000. You are buying a material of 50,000. And you wear it and everybody around you does not know. Let me show you how Satan cheats Africans. There are many of us, if you did not have the spirit of a waster, God has been faithful in your life. You would have raised up to a million naira right now to do responsible things. How about marriage? How we waste money in Africa? You get the best venue, hire the best people, you go and get a small boy and pay for that boy 30,000 naira to hold a ring. Can't you put it in your pocket? <laughs> of course, why are you laughing? Will he stop it from entering her hand? The spirit of a waster is destroying Nigerians. You are a student, you are wearing a suit of 50,000 and you pride yourself all around. I have this. No, sir. It's a waster. And 
we pastors have been victims of this because in an attempt to help people become successful we put pressure on them to prove that the word is working and in an attempt to show that the word is working the money that God gave the guy to help him he now uses it to buy a car as a hundred level student to show that he has faith faith is not foolishness you are in 200 level you are wearing a, 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 a weaver of, of 20,000 no there are many students who are eating where certain lecturers are eating. Where a piece of meat, a big piece of meat is 500 naira. See that? And you eat three square meals a day. They give you 10,000 naira in a week you spent. Some of us have a spirit of spending. You can't rest till it finishes. It's a spirit. Waster. Are we together? You are wearing a shoe of this amount. Please, I'm talking to you. You have to square up. There are things in your life you can go and sell. That's your capital. Sell all those nonsense. You have three phones. Who are you calling? You are loading your phone with 10,000 naira in a month. That's somebody's salary. And you, all you are doing is gisting. Rooms that we give the devil to destroy our lives. Praise the Lord. You are not doing anything. Your barber comes to meet you. 1,000 naira per baby. Can't you go and kill? What are you rushing for? Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are people who don't have any money. You are not earning anything. You charter a car to wherever you want to go to. Let me show you how we waste money. 25,000 naira on a trip. Oh, I can't enter night bus. We have to fly. 30,000 naira. Economy is finished. Book business class. 45,000 naira. You are paying, you are flying away your destiny. Whereas, with 5,000 naira, you can with honor. I'm not saying the days will not come for those things. But not now. Fake life. You see people living. Especially women of God. Fake life. So that I will show that I'm anointed. You go and buy a watch of 100,000. You are wearing it. No, let me tell you, when you rise, everything around you rises. So when you fake it, nothing around you can resonate with the level you claim to have been. You don't know anybody that warrants that level of influence. When Koinonia started here, with crowds of people packed to outside, I will come on a bike. A bike. Miracle service. People are waiting. The next thing you hear sound of a bike, I will drop from it honorably with my Bible. And at that time, I was already blessed. Please, stop any fake life. We know you are responsible and we know God will help you. Brothers, am I speaking to you? This pressure of trying to look like Joshua Selman, you will die, oh, you don't know the fire I've passed through to come where I am. No, no, sir. This pressure of trying to do this. Visitors, if I am coming to your house, if all you have is water, keep it there. Don't go and borrow money to cook Turkey, I didn't ask you. God is faithful. I'm not coming for food. There are families and women of God, may God forgive us honestly. Because when anytime they visit any family, they must prepare honorarium. Thank God no leader is doing that here. The day I hear that any leader in this place is going to anybody's house and saying they should package honorarium. Oh no, 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 no. The God that sent me will judge that leader. Judge that leader that you go to anybody's house under the canopy of Koinonia and go and say they should give you. No, not every seed self is collectible. Some things are your birthright. You are collecting your honor and your dignity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is God helping us tonight? The spirit of waste. You start saving. You get 50,000 naira every day from your parents. That's a worker's salary. Yet, before half of the month, you are begging people who are on their own. Your makeup kit is 20,000. Who cares? If you have the money, that's all right. There are some of us now, you are planning marriage. You've not gone anywhere. You've spent 2.5. What are you doing with it? Wedding gown, 500,000. To wear once. Are you wearing it every day? suit hundred thousand there is a particular anchor that this group where is it in the bible 
if you don't have money everybody should dress well just honor them will they deny that they are your parents must they dress in and cope? please hear what i'm saying you know if eat your size and grow gradually god will honor you honeymoon you want to travel out to where if you don't have the money explain to your wife honeymoon is a mentality not a not an act africans waste money i was sharing with some people today 12 years celebration of getting born again 13 years of getting filled with the holy spirit Two years of being delivered from smoking and we organize a big ceremony we fly people from everywhere december the entire savings of nigeria for january to november finishes in three days three days of hilarious living you buy hamper fourteen thousand per one you buy almost 20 to share because you are looking for a good name in church no sir There are brothers here you have no business buying a laptop you don't have the money there are sisters you have no business buying certain materials if all you have is one trouser my brother iron it with dignity the god of heaven who sees you will honor you you are not irresponsible if you meet the sister and she doesn't like you because of the trouser god just saved you from a bad wife go away and trust god for a lady who knows how to see in the spirit Hallelujah. Don't put pressure on yourself. You enter any relationship that is a high maintenance relationship, killing you. Book for counseling. Book for counseling fast and say, Apostle, I need help. I entered it. I'm not saying you are bad people. That's what counseling is for. To be able to talk to you and say, No, 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 I think you are spending too much. People get married and they don't have a house. They get married, they spend 2.5 million and they cannot afford 150,000 for a house because of the life of a waste. May the Lord deliver us from the spirit of waste. What of ministries that waste? Uncommanded projects. Projects that are not commanded by God. Oh, this other man of God is doing it. Let's do it too. A church comes and they don't have money simply because they are seeing people pay school fees. They now start paying people school fees and the entire reserve of the ministry disappears. Oh, they are buying a pulpit. Oh, they are buying this. This is five million. We must also buy it. Uncommanded project. Anywhere God has not taken me to, I'm not under pressure. I will get there for sure. Whether you believe it or not, I will get there. There are levels Koinonia has reached now by the grace of God and there are levels we have not reached. I will never put myself under pressure to get into those levels. Brother, your hand does not reach to buy a car. Be patient. Just take it easy. The God of heaven will give you. When favor comes upon your life, it will be like rain. In 24 hours, God will change your life. But by the time you force the door, it will open, but it will kill you. We are going to pray. Has anyone learned something tonight? God wants us to rise to be great men and women. First in our family lives, but also in every other thing. Every lady here trusting God for a good man. May the God that I serve bring a good man to your life. And any brother trusting God for a good woman, may God bring a good person. But you cannot reap a seed you are not sowing. You cannot sow the seed of a stupid man and reap a virtuous woman. You cannot reap, sow a seed of a wicked woman and reap an award-winning man. God is not that unjust. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that he shall reap. So ladies, please listen to me. As I round up, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be careful with some of this carnality and materialism. Be careful. I've challenged the brothers to be serious, but you must be careful. There is nobody no tree no matter how well you water and fertilize it it will not become a giant oak tree in one day but there's potentials for it are you together now yeah there are people some of you admire if you saw them 10 20 years ago you will not like them but faith i saw one man of god when i saw his picture it was as if he was with rope he used to tie his waist you can use measuring tape and tie the waist 
His wedding with his wife, she just stood as if they carried that cap, as if they carried cap somewhere and just put on her head. And the guy, the guy should be a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire today. He lavishes upon his wife like there's no tomorrow. That's the price of taking the risk with the man. If you are risk covers, you sit down there. Is God helping us? And brothers, be responsible. Don't take for granted that I've told ladies to be responsible to be responsible and you sit down you are stingy you are greedy you are in a relationship valentine is coming you are pretending like you don't know plan you must do something on tuesday plan plan you have today saturday sunday monday tuesday morning plan so that you don't take for granted and say because some of those things are laziness please we must balance it brothers you must be serious Sisters, you must be serious. Make up your mind that you are going to make a good decision. Dissociate from any dangerous and poisonous relationship. Brother, you are in a relationship that is, is killing you, is eating you up, spiritually and financially. I may not advise you to break, but I advise you to cry for help. Cry for help. Don't die in silence. Sister, you are in a relationship with a brother who is oppressing you and making nonsense out of your life because I said you should be virtuous. Cry for help. And if it's not changing, leave him. Leave him. It is scriptural to leave a relationship that does not represent where you are going. Are we together? We are going to pray. We will continue tomorrow during the workers retreat. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray, but I want, please no moving around. No moving around. I want everyone to stand. Just, just stand still for a moment. And I want you to think about your life in one minute. Especially for the brothers. I want you to meditate upon your life in one minute. What will your 10 years be from now? What will your 20 years be? At the rate you are going with your life. At the rate of your mindset. At the rate at which your understanding is. What kind of results are you producing? Sister, look at your life now and be sincere between you and the God of heaven. The seeds you are sowing now, what kind of harvest do you see in front of you? Now, I want you to lift your voice before the God of heaven. In the next two or three minutes, cry. He says, my help comes from the Lord. Cry, 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 cry. Please, I want you to cry to God. I've said many things tonight and you know where it affects you. I want you to cry before God in one minute. Lord, I have seen a mindset. I've seen a mindset that is destructive. I need you to help me. I'm a godly brother, but I've seen that I've been irresponsible. I have been lazy. Lazy about my relationship. Lazy about my life. I've been giving flimsy excuses. I take responsibility tonight. Are you praying? lady and have allowed a wrong mindset a materialistic mindset a mindset that is carnal to consume me I ask you for help lift your voice and pray if every other thing I said tonight touched you anywhere please lift your voice and cry to the God of God Responsible as a father, pray. You are connecting with us online. Pray. I must be responsible as a husband to my wife, to my children. I take responsibility tonight. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Father, take away every spirit of indiscipline, laziness, and wastage, and irresponsibility. Let it live my life forever. Lift your voice and pray. Laziness. Mental laziness. Entitlement mentality. Waiting for Father to do this for me. Waiting for
for mother to do this for me flimsy excuses are you praying please pray this is your destiny pray this is your destiny pray this is your destiny hallelujah hallelujah lord break any relationship in my life love relationship wrong associations that are contributing to my downfall in life let them be scattered now i don't care how long any wrong friend wrong associate wrong whatever it is pray i break it now i break it now no negotiation i break it now friends that give me wrong counsel I was not a thief until I joined certain people and they made me to be a thief now. I was not a bad girl until I joined certain cabals. Break free from those relationships. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Prayer point number three. Father, give me direction. First, over marriage and over every area of my life. I, I confess that I'm confused. Give me direction. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and cry out. Lord, I need direction. Concerning the issue of marriage. I need direction. If you are married, pray. Lord, concerning my family. Right now, I don't even know what to do. Things are not working in my family. You've got to help me, oh God. Direction on what to do as a father. Financial direction. On what stream of income to put your hands on. Don't just do anything because everybody is doing anything direction on how to go as a pastor direction on my marriage direction on a life partner direction hallelujah let me add one more prayer point before the last one you're going to say lord walk in me and walk on me Anything that makes me not to be the ideal wife. Anything. Don't pray for husband yet. Lord, whatever makes me a bad wife. Whatever makes me a bad husband. Whatever makes ladies run away from me. Whatever makes men run away from me. I humble myself tonight. And I ask that you take it from me. Walk on me. Walk on me. Lift your voice and pray. What is driving my husband away from me? What is driving my wife away from me? Is there something I'm doing wrong? What is driving my destiny helper away from me? What is driving the anointing away from me? What is driving favor away from me? What is driving breakthrough? Pray from your heart. There must be something I'm doing wrong. Why does my husband not love me? I may be getting it wrong somewhere. Why does my wife not love me? I must be getting it wrong somewhere. Why is our relationship up today and down tomorrow? Something must be wrong. I take responsibility. No passing blames. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Lift your hands as we worship you. See the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. Just lift your hands. I didn't ask you to sing. Feel the rain of your love. See the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. We see the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. Please lift your hands. When I begin to sing, let it rain. There will be deliverances. Let us hear. So let it rain. Or shall spring them out. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The power of the Holy Ghost moving across this building. Yeah. I see a lot of chains, chains, demonic oppressions. The power of God is already moving, but we are going to shout the name Jesus. Listen, listen. Every time the Lord shows me this, I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me how many of you believe there is no hiding place tonight there is no hiding place at the count of three my god you will confirm your word everyone under any yoke any spell any enchantment at the count of three let the power of god Bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, I cast out devils. Go, 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 go. I expose the power of darkness. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the fire bring her. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Satan, get lost. Satan, get lost. some of you you will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost no man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling 
and even inside but i want you to know as i begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight so get take a barata lord let your power move every power every force of darkness i release the fire of the holy ghost let it fall i release the fire leave them leave them leave them ushers leave them alone you will come out by the power of the holy ghost the holy ghost will bring you out from your seat the holy ghost will bring you out from your seat the holy ghost will bring you out from your seat the holy ghost will bring you out Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Matakata. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know. This is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Russia. Regressio. Go for Yeta. Oh, my God. 
for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy put to an end the power of god is still falling i tell you devils are under major attack by pose attack the angels are walking don't wait till you fall down receive don't wait till you fall down has nothing to do with falling yeah. was a sound that I had in the spirit that's why I'm singing it yeah. 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 yeah hallelujah bring her it's time for her deliverance I command you to come I command you to come don't force her she will come by the power of the Holy Ghost come come and stand here yeah. 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 listen a scripture entered my spirit he said how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 yeah. hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of acts is the acts of the holy ghost sir king salama salama he's called the prince of peace salama hallelujah leave her alone be still stand in one place now. Sir King Salama, your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama, out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make it his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sharking Salama. 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 Salama, Salina Cabo, Yabo, Serkin Salama, in a Cabo, Yabo, Serkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back.
back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a pariada baladala. Sarkin Salama Salama Salama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shekataba. Brentoko prikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go prosketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible. But if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen, let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
the fire of the Holy Ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarakin Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarkin Salama Salama There's someone that has a problem, a heart problem, heart problem. That was your request, heart, something in your heart. I don't know what it is. The Lord is showing me. Please remember I told you, don't waste our time. Please. There's a lot of things we have to do this night. Heart. Something pertaining to your heart. If you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama 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 Hallelujah Ah ah See There is a lady Now don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say You see snakes in your bathroom Ladies bathroom Who is that person? Come out Come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please salama salama yeah you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem god god is ready to deliver you look this is a family are you listening to me this is not this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what, what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart asthma, asthma. is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but i'll pray for you be healed right now in the name of jesus christ Heal. Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands. With both of your hands, the fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand, it will leave you because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go, for light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out, go. Go, Kapotoka, Reketaria, Mambroscote, Reketeria Daba, Boseketalia. Out, come out of her. Out of her right now. Sarkin Salama. Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe you want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama. Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Jesus. 
son. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we're just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen, please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. Marriage is a blessing. It's not a curse. As I, as I talk, as I talk, because you see, I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth. I want to break certain demonic things. Many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones. For some of you, it's a role in your family. Many people have told you nothing. Just, just hope one day. No, we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen the moment we shout the name jesus some of you listen you will testify whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around listen the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness 
that are keeping some of you your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go the lord instructed me to do this hallelujah if you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see i'm seeing blood i'm seeing blood dripping on the ground let me tell you what this means there are covenants and ordinances this is what the lord is showing me but my bible says the blood of jesus speaketh better things better things at the shout of the name jesus the demons responsible for any marital delay god you said if i speak it you will do it right now at the count of three it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three break 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 ushers bring them out ushers bring them out break 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 the yoke be broken the yoke be broken the yoke i release you i release you i release you i release you every cause of marriage over your family tonight be free be free be free don't don't take at her don't take at her time to get married hey bring them out don't wait till you come out the power of god is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire it will burn tonight I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now, devil, let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say, I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain cry unto god wave that sickness bye bye because it's going forever i'm not afraid Hallelujah. Now all of you because of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? If you can. I'll just minister to you at once. Please. If you came here believing God. Then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three go poto be free Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. 
Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Go! 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 Come back with testimonies! Come back with the testimony! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come back with the testimony! 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 Come back with your testimony. I speak to you, all of you. Come back with your testimony. Come back with your testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here. You are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any cause you did not fail, listen. See, believe, oh, any cause you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said, I change it. Man, to kapala kuzita. I change it, Kato Pratishi. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in every in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take it. Inside, inside, take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside, receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back, inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people. At the back, outside here. At the back, take it. Take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a course that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm walking as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of Christ because I'm about to open I'm about to tell it to open up for you are you ready it's already happening to this sister now listen every department every faculty in Amadou Bello University that course that is threatening you right now when I shall bow many of you feel as if your head will open up are you ready now in the name of Jesus bow 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 in the name of Jesus bow bow in faculty of medicine bow faculty of engineering bow environmental design bow education bow Social sciences bow. Sciences bow. All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is where except you didn't write that exam wherever your paper is just as the donkey of kish was found i command that paper to be found now <laughs> hallelujah for all those whose assessments have been bad listen for this exam for all those whose assessment have been bowed have been, uh, are bad in the name of jesus i release makeup test makeup assignment in the name of jesus may the lord touch the hearts of the lecturers no matter how hard they are hallelujah all of you shout i will excel Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into, some of you are, are trusting, let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I stepped you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers it has refused to come if god be god if there is a god in this place listen those of you who are about to whether jam whether de you have papers that you need to make up i stand as a servant of god i give you the paper you are looking for those writing jam i prophesy write your last jam in the name of jesus those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up and there are some of you who are about graduating but the papers you have are causing trouble and right now you already have problem at the senate mercy 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 you must graduate you must graduate let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus.
God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cast that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you cannot read like a slave i forbid you from reading like a slave in the mighty name of jesus I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw, that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick. You came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your, hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless, you are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people they've told you you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen. All of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside. I tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting. And start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma, go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, 
every woman problem man de kagokoto rekatabadi kete palatakai irregular menstruation ends now 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 shita katapalakata the fire of god is burning i tell you the fire of god is burning jikatoko proto super tukoto baladaba every lump in the breast disappears now disappears now disappears now every growth in any part of your body every growth i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus thank you jesus any pain in any area of your body i rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now shake it up reke te koto to 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 baka ziko to riapata zekete let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barren please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barren for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you live the promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god I want to cause barrenness and impotency low sperm count all this demonic infertility whatever I, I don't care if it has a name is going to answer this night are you ready everybody inside make sure you are with me hallelujah praise the lord whether for you or for your loved ones right now my father in the name that is above all names lift your hands i pray there are some of you listen some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barrenness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the cause of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Sita kapala kushoprete, zimbato krostu palakato sepete. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? Uh, some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seed. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her, devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. Kai, people are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Ah. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. Go, 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 go. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a curse. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Shoketeketa. Rekotopokotupaka. 
so protokoto rekete kete rekoto preketika jobless go 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 hallelujah to me my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable and sharp prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it. Right from here, down to this row. This is what God is showing me. The power of God will come in a strong way. Lift your hands, all of you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two. Let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. Your spirit. Out. Out now, pain go. Come out. Supo koto pekata lekata. Don bretons ke banda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me visit them. Please help them, help them, ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? 
I'm going. I'm BP, BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Uh, are you building? Are you building, Madam? Look at me. Yes. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yes. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you see. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families in the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come, please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13, 13, you wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come, you are the one, come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that yes. Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. I followed somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locates this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina. 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 Who is Regina? Regina, ah, no Regina, don't miss your miracle. You are Regina, you. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Ah. Pray for your mother, huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her, huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put, they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in, 
I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you saying, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen, they did it in such a way. And this is the invocation that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at, I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at, this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing, a very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. I listen to me. She, 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 she will, I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, uh, ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? your time of what did you come here for you are barren is that yes sir you are barren yes. how many years 13 years i'm seeing one and three mm -hmm. how many years? 13 years 13 years you have been barren your 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 situation has come to an end <laughs> hallelujah mm. lay your hands on your stomach what did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. 
I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. Alright, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Join your hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant, Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to... After this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. 
We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come. If you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, Amen. and in favor with God and with men. Amen. We command this child to be an ambassador. Amen. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? hallelujah as we lay hands all three of us will lay hands you just lay hands i'll come back and lay hands on them as we lay hands on the children we rebuke the hands of satan we rebuke the hands of satan no let me lay hands on them before they go well we're, we're doing it all of us please very quickly these are instructions that god is giving we're not just doing these things carelessly any child any one child that has anything that is not of god we cancel it right now we cancel it right now Eh? in the name of the Lord Jesus may the Lord visit this child let his hearing be perfected in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ see how wicked Satan can be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ these children are blessed where is he? bring him the boy ran away because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? he run away. I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. Yeah. You will go back and you will come and testify. Yeah. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. 
May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord... Ah, you came out for yourself or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus, let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Eh? You want to be free from it? Eh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Eh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Mm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rahila. Who is Rahila? Do you know anybody called Rehila? What is the mean? Well, I'm hearing the name Rehila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going? Hold, hold on. Don't tell me. I, I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me. Don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. 
be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you from Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. Yeah. I command favor. Yeah. Favor. Yeah. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside. This is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside, I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please, leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them, they are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. 
God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming, keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. See after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, the Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness. And I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I'll never be the same again. My life is transformed. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.